What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Sean. Stay fitted. We starting in life. We always started. You know what it is, man. It's been a while since I put my last video up, man. I want to say almost going on two weeks. But uh, as you might be able to still hear, man, I, I was coming down with a little something, man. So I was a little under the weather. Didn't really feel like doing a whole lot of talking. You know how you get that whole nose, throat, ear thing. Everything's clogged up. You sound like your head's in a box. So really wasn't trying to really film anything like that. But I did want to hurry up and get this video out. As you see behind me, right there, got, right there. Got the bag from Hat Club. Went back down to the store again. Starting to make a lot of trips down there, especially since they have that everyday deal where it's three for 40 on a... I guess the hats that have been, I, I, actually, I never really asked them how does it actually work. I guess maybe if the hats have been out already for like two or three weeks and they're not actually new releases anymore, I guess they drop down to that lower tier where they can go on sale for the three for 40. And they have a nice little section at the Ontario Mills. I love Center Mall uh, where I am in California. They have a nice selection and they say you got to spare 40 bucks. Why not go buy three fittings? You know, that's how I like to spend it. So especially if I got a free 40 bucks. So that being said, Wanted to go ahead and show you what I picked up. I have a couple of things that I actually picked up to go with a select pair of kicks. So, again, we're going to get right into it, man. We ain't going to drag this out. So, let's go ahead and get into it. It's your boy, Sean. Stay fitted. Let's see what's in the bag. Like I said, we're going to jump right into it. We got our hat club bag and the hat club bag with the little logo on there. You know, they changed the logo up recently. And again, we got our receipt. And uh, basically, like I said, you do the three for 40 deal. Basically, it comes out to about 4203. So again, not bad for three fitted hats, especially if someone's trying to put in the collection. Now, the first one we're going to get into this one i bought specifically to go with a specific pair of shoes and i believe this will make the second hat that i had to go with this pair of shoes which i actually have back here and i'm gonna break those out so you can see what i'm talking about but it's the i guess the name of it is the 5950 this is the actual description on the hat 59 5950 donic sun wash now if you see this hat this is one of those hats you'll see that the colorway, it really is very distinctive. So it's not going to really go with too many things unless you have something specifically to go with it. But me personally, I like the color because it does go with a specific shoe I got. And I'm going to show you that kick in just a minute. But I also like the little description on the hat, the little logo right there. That's real defined right there. Got the scar on the little eye. Look like you've been through something. I'm feeling that. You know what I'm saying? And of course, you got your Donic logo on the back. Now, Got your new era flag blended in with the same color, which I thought was perfect. You don't want too many things going on with this color, especially for the purpose that I'm going to rock it with. And I'm going to show y'all that right now. Like I said, I usually try to make this a fit and end kicks channel. So why not, especially the new way I arranged it with the kicks, because it goes from here down to the floor. It used to be one just big rack that just went to the ceiling, but that just looked real awkward because it was literally ceiling high. So I just broke the shelves down into two to bring these two in here and then to add two more on this side. So again, with that being said, let me show y'all this kick right here. I got to go with this. And if anybody knows and you've watched my channel before, these right here, like I found these at Ross a while ago. I still haven't worn them. They're pretty much pristine, but the, the bottom is already starting to change colors. I hate that. But like I said, it's an older shoe, so it was bound to happen. But this is one of my prize shoes in my collections over the J's and everything else. As you see, they still got the tags on the man. Got them for 24 bucks. Those old school Aero Jam, Larry Johnson, Converse Reacts. And like I said, anybody knows my channel when I found these, it was a big find for me. They were just literally sitting there. Actually, they're actually literally sitting in front of the shoe rack on the floor. Like, I guess, I don't know if somebody tried them on because they were torn apart. They weren't even connected. You know how they usually connect the shoe together. So, you can see the bottom is already colored. <laughs> I'm making this a video about the shoe. But if you see what I'm saying, that is perfect right there. That is a combo. That's a cold combo right there. So you fit that together. Trust and believe I'm going to make that happen. So this is the only reason I literally bought this hat board for these kicks. And if you remember too, uh, I think it was the City Edition NBA collab that came out. I actually got the Charlotte Hornets one to actually go with this too, which was kind of sick. Uh those hats are actually in another room, so I can't actually pull that out. But 
If you like this combination, let me know what you think down below, man. How's it look? To me, it looks pretty dope. So, like I said, one of the reasons I got this, because I looked at it and was like, you know what? That literally, lit I mean, it may be a tad shade off, but you would literally think it was made just to go with this specific shoe. So, like I said, I thought that was pretty dope. So, that was cool. So, that's the first hat. The Donic, like I said, sun wash. I have no idea what that actually means. But let's get into the second one. This one, I thought it was pretty dope because of the colorway. Because I'm a big khaki guy, especially like with the Tims and everything like that. Uh, have those in here too. can break those out. And I've had them for like two years and haven't worn them. I just caught them on a, a crazy deal on Amazon, which is where you don't think to buy many shoes at. I was actually on Amazon looking for something else and came across those. But we'll see those in a minute. But... We have the San Diego Padres. I guess this is the San Diego Padres alternate. That's what they're calling it. That's what the description is looking like. So, like I said, the yellow and the brown or khaki, you might want to call it. To me, that's definitely dope. When it goes right in with your gold label on the front, you have your side patch for the San Diego Padres. Like I said, I guess it's, a, it's an alternate 50-year anniversary edition of the hat. And I love how they actually put Now, this is, you know, sometimes, you know, you know they tend to mess with the New Era flag and they don't get the color right. This, I think, fits because you did just enough to make the front colorway. Then you got the yellow New Era flag on the side. So I think that's pretty dope. And look at that right there. They got the Major League Baseball logo with the same Padres colors. I think that's dope. They intertwined it perfect, in my opinion. Now, to me, this is the perfect thing. Since I got them in reach, why not? I don't know about anybody else, probably on the East Coast too, but you should always have your at least one prayer, proper Tims, man. And as you see, haven't been worn yet. They're still not even laced up. These have been sitting on ice for about two years. So, you know, you can never have, you know, not enough Tims in the collection, you know what I mean? I had a pair that was starting to get wore down, weren't starting to hold the same color, but that right there, come on, you can't beat that. Like I said, when I rock a lot of my hats, man, a lot of my hats, are gonna go specifically with a certain type of shoe. So my thing is shoes and hats, they gotta collab. I mean, of course you're gonna have more pair of hats to go with that one certain shoe, but they're definitely always gonna match, man. That's your outfit. I mean, if you don't have that matching, then that's kind of crazy. I mean, I start, me personally, I start from the shoes, the hat, then I start to the inside with the clothes. I don't know, that's just me. Maybe that's weird, I'm not sure, no, I don't know. <laughs> but got your Tims right there, your classics. Uh, now we're going to get on to the final pickup Like I said, after that San Diego Padres This one here Is just more of your simple pickup But like I said, I'm a Cali dude So I had to have it This one is, is the OG Two-Tone Dodgers Now the one thing I can say is I really don't have a lot of Dodger hats Believe it or not, being from Cali But this one here I can say I don't have a lot of burgundy hats. I don't have a lot of Dodgers hats, so this was the perfect collab right there. Then it has like that that heather gray feel to it, and the hat literally, if you look at it, is almost made from like that same heather gray material. How it's kind of loose made. How these are kind of more heavy and they don't really move around when you fluff them out. But um, it's, it has a good feel to it, in my opinion. I actually had to try it on because I thought maybe it was just old and that's how it was. But no, that's actually the material on the hat. So you got your gold label on there. This one, I would have felt a little better if they would have made a stand out with the burgundy for the new era flag. But, I mean, eh, it's still all right. It goes. It's not throwing it off too much. But I did like on the Major League Baseball logo, they at least threw a little burgundy on that one. Because I notice a lot sometimes they just kind of go with a solid color. I guess keep it on this original form, which I'm not really mad at that. So, it's pretty good. But the one thing I don't like, it's a lot of loose thread right there. But fortunately for me, like I said, like any other hat collector, I'm sure you got the utensils for that. I do too. I got the little mini clippers, hit it with the little brush, taking care of problem solved. But you always still look for that quality on your hat to make sure it's there. You got that burgundy pin on the top. Got that undertone right there. And of course, you got your basics under there. So, you know, we're not going into all that. But like I said, again, those are the three pickups, man. And like I said, not disappointing, especially... You're doing three for 40 bucks. That's not bad in my opinion. I'm going to take another trip down there too. And another thing, I got a question. Let me know what you think down below. I remember when New Era released the Inside Out hats. I think that was a, maybe a Lids exclusive. 
Um, you see me wear my New York Yankee one in the video before, but then they had the rally caps they just released. Now, it's it's kind of a different take on it. It's kind of a different look. It's like literally the hat flipped inside out. I don't know. I've been thinking about going down there, picking one up just to have for the collection. I really don't see wearing that out, you know, too much. Like, just because of the look of it. But it's one of those kind of like my fear of God had. I had to pick that up because I did just want it for the collection. Let me know what you think down below. If y'all was able to pick up the rally caps when they had the big collab came in the box. You know, I think they did just a New York Yankees and the LA Dodgers release. Let me know if you was able to pick up. If you didn't, let me know if you want to see one in hand. I'm really on the fence about picking one up. If enough people comment and want me to pick one up, I'll go ahead, I'll review it, let you see what it looks like in hand. Because I have seen it in the store on the shelf without the whole specialty box and everything. And uh, it's an acquired taste, I say that much, you know what I mean? Of course, I'll probably get a Dodger one. The Yankee one didn't appeal as much to me, you know, myself personally. So, I don't know, we'll see. Let me know what you think down below. Outside of that, man, those are the three pickups for today. I'm going to go on and hop up out of here, catch some more of this college football because I am doing this on a Saturday. So, I'm going to wait to hear from y'all down below. Let me know what you think about the rally cap. Should I, should not? I'm on the fence. Let me know what you think. Outside of that, man, I'm going to go on and hop up out of here. It's your boy, Sean. Stay fitted, man. Get back with me, man. I'm going to holler at y'all on the next one. Go.